Welcome to the seventh Sunday in Ordinary Time. Factor number by GH presents your reflection for this Sunday, and I am Reverend Father Stephen Ansemensa. The theme for today's reflection is Do Not Deceive Yourself. Deception has its connotation of deliberately causing someone to believe in something which is not true. In our relations with God, which is proven in our relations with our fellow humans, there arise a deceptive thought that it is impossible to be holy and perfect as God. These deceptive thoughts make God a liar, which is impossible. God would not have commanded us to be holy or perfect if it weren't possible. If this is true, then we can all be holy and perfect, just as God is holy. Holiness and perfection are possible to attain. One of the reasons why we ought to be holy and can be holy is that God himself is holy as given in our first reading from the book of Leviticus. Just as we were created in God's image and likeness, which makes us one with him, so must we imitate his holiness. How can one, therefore, achieve this holiness in this imperfect world of ours? The response to this is very simple. We must do what God does in relating to us. Thus, to love compassionately, to care for and pray for others. These are the very attributes of God as echoed in our responsorial psalm. Psalm 103. That God is forgiving, kind, compassionate, merciful and gracious. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, these attributes of God should characterize our very lives as Christians. St. Paul in the second reading reminds us and the Corinthians and even so that the Spirit of God the Holy Spirit is within us we are and within us the place of holiness this would mean that we have run out of options we cannot but be holy there is the need to treat our bodies with such honor just as temples are respected to the fact that they are places of holiness Jesus, in the Gospel reading, also tells us to be perfect as our Heavenly Father is perfect. If it were not true, I don't think Jesus would have said it. I doubt that Jesus would have said it. We must delude or deceive ourselves of the possibilities of our holiness if we do not rely on God. Indeed, we recognize our limitation and our weakness as humans. We might be struggling or battling with some distraction that might impede our holiness, yet we can be holy and perfect. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, with our reception of the sacraments, the baptisms, Eucharist, confirmation, penance, anointing of the sick, matrimony and holy others, we have all it takes to overcome temptations and the weaknesses that obstruct our holiness. All we need to do is to strive, which demands our efforts to reach the higher level which we can relate with others as God related with them. It is possible to love our enemies, to forgive those who hurt us. Let us remember who is dwelling within us, the Spirit of God. With God in us and with our efforts to strive, we will be perfect as our Heavenly Father is perfect. May God bless us all now and forever as we strive for holiness and perfection. Amen.